Hey guys, this is Asha with Bender Wave Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the jasmine cardigan. To get started, you will need um, a weight 3 DK yarn. I am doing the size um, medium for this tutorial and you will need 1,635 yards uh, to complete this cardigan. Now for the crochet hook, you will need both a four millimeter and five millimeter crochet hook. I'm using the Odyssey Silver here um, for, we'll use that for most of the project and the smaller size, the four millimeter is just gonna use, be used for the cuffs to finish off the sleeves. You will also need a tapestry needle, scissors, and stitch markers for this pattern. Now I have the written pattern available with additional sizes. So sizes extra small to 3x on my blog. So if you'd like to go and grab the, the amount of stitches you'll need for your size, uh, then you can come back here and continue this tutorial with me just to see how the construction works out. Okay, now to touch real quick on gauge. Um, so for the gauge, we're using the V-stitch for just about most of this piece, um, but each V-stitch is gonna count as a stitch. Um, so keep that in mind when you're checking your gauge. So in a four by four inch square gauge, I've got six stitches by nine rows. So you wanna make sure you're meeting your gauge so that um, all the measurements turn out correctly for your size. And you can get this full explanation on my blog. All right, now jumping into our pattern. You're going to do a slip stitch and you are going to chain 144 stitches. Okay, now on to row number one. You are going to work two double crochets in the third chain from the hook. And then you're going to skip one chain and work another two double crochets in the next chain. And you're just gonna go ahead and repeat that until you reach the end. I went on ahead a little bit, but for row two and for each row after, you are going to chain two, turn your work, and then you're gonna work in the center of the V-stitch from your previous row. So right in the middle here. Let me get a little closer. Okay, now you, when you get to the end of this row, you're gonna work your last V-stitch in this last stitch here, but then you are also gonna work one double crochet on your the top of your turning chains here. And that's how you're gonna work your rows for the rest of the bottom, body panel here. And you're gonna work a total of 41 rows. 
Okay, now that you have the bottom half of your body panel finished, we're going to start splitting off um, into three different panels. So two side panels and then the center back panel um, so that that will form our, um, our armholes for our sleeves. Now for your two side panels, you'll want to count a total of 17 stitches in from the outside. Now make sure you're not counting the turning chain because this will not count as a stitch. Only your V stitches count as a stitch. So, and then place your stitch marker so that you can keep your place. And what you'll just continue doing is you'll chain two, work your V stitches until you get to the end here. And then where your stitch marker is at here at the end of the row for your side panel, you're going to work one double crochet. And make sure here you're working your double crochet into this space in between the two V stitches, stitches um, not into the actual V stitch. And then you're just going to continue working your rows the same as you have before by chaining two, working your V stitches, and then ending with a double crochet at the end. And so this will start to split off our side panel. So for this top half portion of your work, you're going to want to work a total of 18 rows from where you started your split. To work your opposite side panel, you're just going to go ahead and attach the yarn to the outside of the opposite side and then work these same step steps that we have just gone through. Alright, now that you've got your both side panels all finished, and then we've got our center opening here. Um, I'm going to show you. We're going to go ahead and um, attach our yarn to the center and work our center. So um, where we ended our double crochet for our side panel, let me just get my yarn out here and make a slip knot. And so um, See here where we ended, let me get a little closer. We're gonna attach our yarn here where we left off on our side panel. So it's gonna be in that same like space. Uh, don't put it in the actual V stitch space, but in that open space there. And then you're going to chain two. I'm sorry, I mean chain three. And then you're just going to continue working as normal, working your V stitches all the way across. Um, the only thing is when you get to the end of the row, you're going to work that double crochet into that same space that you finished your double crochet from the side panel. Hopefully that makes sense. So you can see here, this is where you're going to work your ending double crochet for your center body panel. And that's where you're going to end your row. I do apologize for all the different lighting. I like to use natural lighting and I almost never shoot these videos at the same time of day. So <laughs> I guess that's just my style. Um, so anyways, now that you've finished all of your um, panels, your two side panels and your center panel, you can see the split off here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and now seam our front panels to our back. So you're going to fold it over itself towards the front here. Line everything all up correctly. 
if you want to you can take two um, stitch markers and tie your two edges together so that um, your front piece isn't shifting around from your back piece when you're trying to seam. Um, so you're just going to go ahead and take a, lar a long piece of yarn and your tapestry needle and start seaming. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I seam here, but you can use whatever seaming method you prefer. Up next, we're going to start our sleeves. Uh, for this video, I ended up doing a shorter sleeve. Um, if you want to check out the instructions for the long sleeve, just go ahead and head over to my blog. To get started, um, we're going to be working in the round for this part, um, which is a little different than my original pattern that I have on my blog, um, but I just wanted to show a variation for this video. You're going to make a slip stitch and you are going to attach your yarn to the base of your armpit. Then you're going to chain two and then you're going to work a total of 24 v-stitches evenly all the way across or around. In order to make it even you might have to skip some spaces. So the way that I did it was I worked um, two v-stitches, skipped a space, worked two v-stitches, and just tried to make it as even as possible all the way around. Once you get to the end, you're going to slip stitch to join. You will repeat this working in the round for a total of six rows. We are now going to start working on the cuff of our sleeve. You'll want to change to your four millimeter crochet hook. You're going to go ahead and chain one and half double crochet into each stitch around. Once you get to the end, you will slip stitch to join your round and work another row just like this one. Okay, now after you've worked your two rows of half double crochet, we're going to move on to the next part. And you're going to chain two and you're going to work two double crochets into that same stitch next to your hook and then you're going to work one double crochet into the next three stitches Skip two stitches, one and two, and work a double crochet into the next. And you're going to do three more double crochets. Now you're going to chain two and work a double crochet into the stitch, the next stitch you would normally work. And then work a double crochet over the next three stitches. And you're just going to go ahead and repeat this sequence. We'll work four double crochets skip two stitches, work four double crochets, chain two, work four more double crochets into the very next stitches, and repeat that until you get to the last six stitches or so. Okay, I'm now down to my last four stitches. I'm going to double crochet chain two and then double crochet into the next three stitches 
And then in the very last stitch, I'm going to work two double crochets. And then you're going to go ahead and slip stitch to join your row and chain two. Okay, for this row, your chain two is going to count as a stitch. So you're going to do your chain two, do one double crochet into the first stitch, and then do one double crochet over the next three stitches. Once you get to the first open space from the previous row, you're going to skip two stitches and then work three double crochets. Once you, next, once you get to the next open space, you're going to, after you work your three double crochets, you're going to work one double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet into this space here. And then you're just going to continue this sequence. Work three double crochets, skip two, work three more double crochets, and then work one double crochet, two chain two, and one more double crochet into that space. And just continue working that. And you will continue working this sequence until you get to the end of the row. And in the last stitch, you will work two double crochets and then slip stitch to join. You will go ahead and repeat this row for two more rows to finish off your cuff. Thank you so much for following along. I hope you enjoyed this pattern. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and sign up for my email list on my blog so that you know when I've got more new patterns coming out. Thanks, bye!